Luke, when you look at that last game, it was a really solid defensive. <laughs> it was a really solid defensive effort from this team. We heard a lot about it being detail oriented. What are you guys taking away from that to bring into today? Yeah, I think you know we played a good game and uh, got some big saves too. But um, you know, at the end of the day, we lost the game, and um, you know, I think we we all really liked our game. We just got to keep going and um, you know, keep stacking games together. And um, yeah, I mean, they're all big points at this point in the year, so. Um, you know, we just got to keep going. When it comes to the power play, what can be done to get those goals? There was great opportunities, but just no goals yet. Yeah, I mean, I think the opportunities were there. I think, you know, we're moving the puck really well and kind of getting back in stride with, with that unit. And, um, you know, I think they're going to come. I think at some point, um, you know, they're going to come. And, um, you know, with the players we have and, uh, you know, the chances that we can create, um, you know, they're going to come. So. Last time you guys played Seattle, you were able to defend that one goal lead for half the game, and that was a really big building block for the team at that point of the season. What did you remember from that game that you guys are being mindful against your opponent today? Um, I don't know. I think you know every game's a different game. Um, you know they're a hard team. They play, they play hard. Um, they're physical. They play fast, and um, you know they work really hard. So um, you know we just got to play our own game and you know focus on us, and you know that, that's it. Yeah, look, at this point, you're well past the number of games that like you would have played in the college season. I know a lot of rookies talk about maybe like hitting a midseason wall and then having to push through it. Do you feel like you've had that or had to, had to push through a wall or anything like that yet? Uh, no, I'm, I don't I don't really think so. I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I've prepared my body well enough in the summer to, uh, you know, play as long as possible. And, um, you know, I'm happy that I've, you know, haven't, haven't had like injury luck and, and all that stuff. So, um, you know, it's been good so far. And, um, you know, like I said, we just got to keep getting better as a team and keep pushing. Yeah, for you personally, defensively, if some of your best games lately have been like, say, matched up with McKinnon or against a good team like Carolina, do you feel like playing the, the best teams, the best players, like brings the best out of, out of you as well? Um, yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, I'm a guy who can, you know, create offensively and also can impact the game defensively. So, um, you know, whether I'm matched up against those guys, um, you know, my goal is to shut them down. And, um, you know, I think I've done a pretty good job at that so far. And, um, you know, same thing if it's, you know, other lines and, um, you know, trying to score. So, um, you know, I've been happy with the way I've defended so far and or in the, in the last couple, um, you know, since All-Star break for sure. And, uh, you know, I just got to keep going. Lindy's talked about a little bit, you know, the, the adjustments to the system that you guys have made. I mean, what, what have uh, you seen positive results from that? Obviously, you know, Carolina, the game, you guys played really well. Uh, yeah, I think the guys, um, you know, probably feel pretty comfortable in that system. Um, you know, I think we've just been, been able to stack a couple games together, and, um, you know, hopefully we can get some more wins. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think guys have liked it so far, and um, you know, we've been playing good with that system. So, um, you know, I think, yeah, that's kind of, I don't, I don't really know. Tyler, that defensive effort that we saw against Carolina is something that was really so strong and so noticeable. What do you feel like those adjustments really helped you guys to get to that level? I think we just did a good job of working. I think that's kind of what it came down to. We knew what they were going to bring in the type of uh, game that they play in the style. And, um, we had to be prepared for it, and we were. And obviously, we came up a little short. But I think at the end of the day, we got to be a little proud of you know the effort. And and I mean, we say it all the time, but you know, try and build off of it. And and we know um, how hard it is, and and it's not going to be easy coming going down the stretcher. It wasn't for lack of effort that you guys didn't score, even on the power play too. There were so many opportunities. But what can you all continue to do to get that next power play goal and break that skin? Keep executing. I thought we did a really good job of uh, finding the open guy and. Uh, Nico did a really good job in the in the bumper spot and and had a ton of looks. So I think if we just keep doing that, it's gonna it's gonna you know crack open and, and be successful again. Lindy talked about too the the system adjustments that you guys have had to make recently. I mean you know the results you've seen from that so far. Just just curious, you know obviously the game against Carolina the results look pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's been a little bit of an adjustment, but we've been doing a, a, a lot of video and uh, working on it in practice, and I think it's kind of come a long way, and um, hopefully we just keep keep it up. And it's one of those things where you uh, you just got to come together and, like I said, work. And um, we've been doing a good job of kind of, you know, protecting each other. And um, if a guy gets beat, there's there's the layers and, and all that stuff. So it's it's been good so far, and I think everyone's responding in a, in a good way. What did you learn about Seattle as an opponent last time? I know it was a very close game, and you guys were able to defend that lead for the whole second half of the game. 
they work they work really hard they uh, they're really structured and um, they capitalize on their chances they have some some good players over there so we got to be ready for it they're um, in you know a similar position to us so um, it should be a good game. It was a tight game between the Kraken last time in Seattle what were the biggest takeaways you learned about your opponent that you're facing tonight? Uh, the defense are heavily involved well skating team um, played very well defensively uh, they're a tough team to play against. Looking at that power play, it wasn't for lack of opportunities, but what can this group do tonight to really get that goal and break that skid? Well, finish opportunities. Um, you look at some of the great A that, that we had on the power play. You look at a couple of the, we caught them trying to be real aggressive. Nico's all alone in front of the net. Uh, it's really just converting. Um, I mean, what we'll try to do tonight will be a little bit different. They kill uh, different than Carolina, uh, but convert. Um, you know, play quick and convert the opportunities. Like an update on Vitek and what his status might be? Uh, Vitek uh, was sick uh, yesterday and today, and a little bit of a lower body from last game. Uh, so, you know, obviously later today we're going to have to bring somebody up. So, Brendan Smith out there, what's his status? Real close. Um, so, we'll uh, we'll see where he's at for, not for today, but probably for tomorrow, maybe. And you've spoken a lot about your young defense, how they're coming together. Where is Kevin Ball right now? Where, where would you put him as far as his development and where he is in doing what you need him to do to be successful as the player he is? You know, again, uh, he's a young man that is still figuring out the game. Uh, uh, there's stretches of real good play. There's stretches of, of doing the right thing. Um, you know, becoming a consistent NHLer is hard. And I, and I think we've seen that with some of our young defensemen. Uh, Kevin's in the same category. Um, there's games you really like, then there's games that obviously you there. There's areas of the game that, with games of experience, he'll be better. Um, so continue to grow. Does he have that mindset to want to be physical? Is that what you want him to be? And how difficult is that for a young know, it's, it's, Sometimes it's physical. Sometimes it's stick on puck. Sometimes it's defensive awareness. It it isn't just physical. Uh, I think his greatest strength is range and reach. Uh, and then when you can be physical, you have to inside what how we want to play, you have to be able to finish. That's only a, a small part of it. Is there anything missing that they could do to increase their opportunities and maybe score more chances? I know you guys have run up against some really hot goaltenders, but what else can to get those opportunities finished? <laughs> you know, I think... Uh, a lot of it, you study the other goaltender, uh, is an area. Um, you know, we talked about certain ways you might be able to beat that goaltender. Uh, we came close. I thought we left a couple plays out there, a couple backdoor plays where we drove off his backside. Bradder missed one. We missed uh, connecting on a couple others. I thought a couple times, uh, even uh, on our power play, we chose not to shoot when we, we probably could have. So it's not about, I, I think sometimes when a goaltender challenges and he challenges you hard, you've got to work around him. You've got to get off his backside. And we did. We just didn't convert. Lindy, is there any longer-term concern with, with the Vanacek lower body injury? Or is, is, it, is Akira maybe the one that... I, I don't, I don't, uh, I, I mean, I don't have any real long-term. Mm -hmm. I mean, today he wouldn't be available to play. Uh, based, uh, if you want to base it on sickness, yeah, he's not feeling well. But I think if he... Uh, was healthy enough to play even with being sick he could but uh, uh, with lower body right now you know might be a day or two I, I don't know we'll just see how he responds Linda you and you and Hextall are uh, from the same small village in in, uh, in Calgary right there in Alberta in right? Alberta right. correct mm -hmm. it's just for that small of a town to have two NHL coaches even you know in 2024 I mean just how special is that for you well, we were well coached when we were young. <laughs> my, my dad coached me. <laughs> my dad might have coached him too. Who knows? Uh, no, I, I think it is unique. Um, you know, you look at uh, small towns in Alberta. It's pretty common for you know you to get kids come out and play hockey because that's what you did. Uh, you know, you look at the Sutter family with all those boys coming out of, you know, Viking, Alberta, and a little bit bigger than Warburg, but uh, lots of examples where uh, 
you come out of these small towns and you've been able to make it. Uh, unique, the fact that we've been able to be able to turn into NHL coaches uh, out of such a small place. So, did, did your dad build an outdoor rink in the backyard? Um, this is the truth. We didn't have an outdoor rink, but we, you know, we had cattle and we had a cattle pond that froze over, and we we played hockey on that. Um, I, I mean, obviously the cattle couldn't drink anymore, so. Um, <laughs> We would shovel that off and, and play. Uh, and when the hay was out of the uh, top part of the barn in the loft, uh, we would play ball hockey. Uh, so, you know, there was there wasn't a lot of things to do in that small town. I mean, there. So it was hockey in the winter and baseball in the summer. Pucks or chips? Did you? I, I'll that tell you what. In, in, in the uh, uh, a sponge puck, hard sponge puck, like a normal puck, but it was sponge. Uh, on the uh, cattle pond, and in the uh, in the loft above the where the hay was kept, but once it was gone, uh, was a pair of socks that you rolled up in a ball, and then you shoved that pair inside another sock and sewed that really tight into a, a ball that you could shoot really hard, and it didn't hurt anybody. So I I didn't patent it, but I think I should have. <laughs>